Welcome to episode number 64 of the Organizations Win Championships podcast, an Odyssey podcast about your Chicago Bulls. I'm Dan Bernstein. That's Jason Bernstein, along with our producer, James Jackson. The Bulls are at the break, and they are who we think they are. They remain mid the ninth in the East. They were 26 and 29 after that loss to Cleveland, 108 105, as Kobe White's buzzer beater attempt at a game tying three was too strong. So the Bulls are 20th of 30 in offensive rating, 16th of 30 in defensive rating, and 20th of 30 overall. So indeed, mid. And you ask this question what the hell are you guys wearing? <laughs> Well, <laughs> the the answer is, I am wearing in black my Andre Drummond "Look How Big My Balls Are" T-shirt, and I'm wearing. And it I am wearing it in a cream color <laughs> because this shirt is awesome and very expensive. I think he really wanted to make that money back after the fifteen thousand dollar fine, but we had to represent. Shout out, Andre Drummond. And his giant balls. Clearly. Well, and I, I, I will say. I can clearly see. <laughs> <laughs> guy, guy goes to the psychiatrist. And he shows up and he's, he's wearing nothing but saran wrap underpants. And the psychiatrist takes, <laughs> takes one look at him and he says, well, I can clearly see your nuts. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so the reason if people say, look, Bernstein and Bernstein. There's no bigger bulls cynics That's out there. Say there's, there's no bigger there, balls. Than... No, there's no bigger bulls cynics out there than the two of you the, the, who so easily doom spiral into the existential disaster that this team has become. Why would you, of all people, be fanboying out in one hundred dollars worth of t-shirt? And the answer is Andre Drummond. Yes. Like, the, why the hell not? Why not? It's a, it's, it's a nice shirt, too. And, oh, it, the quality is ridiculous. Yeah, like, it, I, it's I, all I double it stitched at the bottom. Yeah, it's, it's heavy. It's, it's really nice. Yeah, this I don't want to get it dirty, but I don't know. Then why'd you get cream color? College? Because it's, cause I don't know. I don't know. So it, It's in right now. Is it? Okay. Yeah, because it's, this is not some little schmata. This is a really nice No, this is, this is legit. This is legit. Well, it's especially legit because it's got because it's Andre Drummond doing grabbing this. his nuts. <laughs> Yar. And, but, and that's why, because Andre Drummond is cool. I don't know how much longer he's going to be here. I thought they were going to trade him. I'm also immensely supportive of him after last year and his issues with that he discussed regarding his own mental health and his physical health. And I just I'm I'm happy he's doing well. I'm happy for him. And uh, he's been playing well too. He's been playing well. He's hit me really resurgently this year. So I, I guess how I look at it is if, if we could find a little island of Bulls joy, as difficult as that's been here and there, you know, the play of Kobe White's been great. We haven't had a lot of things to be really happy about this Bulls season. So why not? Right? Yes. All good on the Organizations Win Championships podcast. And now the Bulls are hurt again. In case you missed it, Torrey Craig, according to reports, hurt his knee, his right knee, working out, and it will not be even reevaluated for two to four weeks. Ugh. Time for Henry Drell. Uh, well, we'll get to that. I, I think free Henry Drell could be a hashtag in this discussion, but... We have to get a free Henry Drell t-shirt is what we have to do. <laughs> we I, we spent enough money on t-shirts. <laughs> that, that one we could probably have somebody make for us. But the, the issue is that Patrick Williams isn't running. It sounds like Lonzo. <sighs> Don't Sorry. do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. It, it was the weird. not running thing and the... Yep. It was he's fine, enough. he's fine, he's fine, he's coming back, and now all of a sudden, at, at the end of the All-Star break, he's not even running? It was sore, so it was precautionary, and it, it's always weird with the Bulls. It's always something weird. I mean, the Lonzo stuff we know has they been immensely always, unfortunate. and then, They always just find a way to keep... Just, whenever something is ever going their way, whenever something is going their way, 
I don't know if it's God. I don't know if it's the training staff. I don't know if it's unluckiness. It's probably a combination of all three. No, we're getting religious here. I think I don't. I, I think I don't know. I is <laughs> is uh plague is putting their ten plagues on the bulls. The injury to Zach Levine was originally just preca- same thing. Well, he's resting because it's precautionary. So mm. It hurts, and then all of a sudden surgery out for the year. I I don't know especially after they prescribe active rest. That's like a death sentence. What the hell is active rest? As I understand it, not, is that not an oxymoron? I think it's a quintessential oxymoron, but I also think it, that what they mean is non impact activity, recumbent biking. I don't know. Active rest, active rest, active rest. How much more bs can the Bulls get with their injury reports? Active rest? It's like, that's something you say about a baseball player when he's going on the Phantom IL. You see that somebody just got in trouble for Billy Epler from the Mets? Just got busted for it? Got suspended? for what? for, for Yeah, the, the former Mets GM is still going to have to face a suspension for Phantom IL for creating injuries to create roster spaces. And I guarantee you the first, when I saw that, how many other general managers in how many other sports? Every uh single one. Come on. You serious? Well, the, with with the, with the, with Kansas city and Kadarius Tony, that whole thing. And then he went on live and said he wasn't hurt and that he just, and he was because they just scratched him because he was bad. And then in the Super Bowl, he was finally a healthy scratch. But I thought he had some, some knee thing or ankle thing. And then he went on Instagram. I was, well, I'm healthy. They're, they just don't want to play me. And yet he has another ring for doing nothing except dropping footballs. But I digress. It, it's just, I don't know. Can, can, can they just stop messing up? Please, just one time, do something right. Well, I feel we terrible. have to wait another year for the trade deadline. They're going to draft some nobody. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Sorry. Stop. Sorry. Stop. Sorry. Stop. Sorry. Sorry. I just feel terrible for Patrick Williams going into restricted free agency. Correct. He wanted that, a big deal, too. Yep. Well, he could have earned one. He didn't play like he wanted it. I'll say that. He, As usual with him, he did at times, which is just not enough. Of, not enough. You know so, who was taken after Patrick Williams? How and who? Tyrese Halliburton. Oh, Lovely. was was taken after? I thought Correct. you said. I thought you said has taken after. No, as if he is no emulating I, I, him. Okay, no, no, no. Tyrese Halliburton went twelfth. Oh, I know that. Draft. And he said in an interview that he thought Chicago would have been a cool place to play. He mainly went off on the Pistons for taking Killian Hayes over him. That is not looking so good right now. Cut, right? Oh, yeah. He's cut. So, But who I, I, I love Tyrese Halliburton. Who are the I, most forwards right now? I mean, if, you, if you're if you down Williams Phillips, and, and now you're down Craig. Phillips, Terry Taylor, and Henry Drell, right? Is Sonogo on a two-way? Sonogo is on a two-way, but I don't think of him as a forward he's more of a big because he's not a good enough shooter i would say he's more he's more of an undersized he's greg monroe he's an undersized five well either way something's got to give here so internally you've got an under a a terribly undersized terry taylor who's only about six five you can go uh, with a, a smaller lineup and play more Dale and Terry, you could force Julian Phillips into more minutes. Maybe he's ready for them. And that would be, you know, a little silver lining here. Like maybe, maybe Henry Drell gets a chance to at least get a little bit of burn. I I, I think it would be, it'd be great to see. I'd and love that. Not I'd much more that Sonogo can prove at the G league level. Really? No, I mean, yeah, he's, he's been playing great. He's been 20 and 10 minimum. And he, and he made night. the G League. He made the G League next up game, which is the G League All Star game. He, he's. I will say, is he the? Is he a bad athlete? Yeah. Uh, he can. He can move well. He just can't really jump. 
Is he a great interview? Yes, except his accent is very difficult to understand. And is he productive? He puts up numbers consistently. I know, granted, it's the G League, but in situations like this, and if you're still trying to be competitive, uh, I, I, it's hard to take a chance on someone like Phillips or Drell to really, you know, elevate the team. And I think you just have to get somebody in there that can move their feet, clean the defensive glass at an average level, and set screens. And Sonogo is a really good screener because he's a big dude and he knows how to set them. He's so, smart. Yeah. And uh, I'm not going to say they're so screwed. I'm just going to say they have a lot of decisions to make and they are not favorable. That's what I'll say. Okay. I'll, the I'll keep it short and sweet. Cutoff for the playoff roster eligibility for free agent signings is March 1st. So we've got a little bit over a week for the Bulls to do what they did with Patrick Beverly Patrick last Beverly. year. Tristan but, Thompson the year before, right? Correct. It's not going to be a guard, but I've got – this is just the list of names that I have from NBC Sports for not just the current available buyout free agents, mm -hmm. but the another list of those who could end up being bought out sometime in the next few days. All right. So the former list, the ones who are available, recent buyouts on yes. the free agent market in no particular order and not by position. Furkan Korkmaz. Okay. Bulls killer. Yeah. Shooter. Uh, shooter. How tall is he? Six, seven, six, eight. I thought. Okay. Ish Smith. No. Yeah. I know I you love know. Ish I, Smith. I, everyone loves Ish Smith, but they don't need Ish. Smith. How can you not love Ish Smith? And they, they don't need him. Uh Rolo, Robin Lopez available. Doesn't really yeah. do anything for them. Kevin Knox. Mm, he's intriguing. Why? Young, young and athletic. Bad, but young and athletic. <laughs> 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 Scott's coming report positives, young, athletic, negatives, bad. bad. <laughs> uh, Daniel House, Denewell, Denewell House, just a shooter. Yeah, Corey Joseph, guard. Danny Green is still alive. Yikes! No, thank you. No. <laughs> What did who what did Doc say during training camp? Oh he asked he goes, how does Danny Green look? He goes, how do you think he looks? Old as shit. Old as, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's gonna be precisely my answer when someone asks yeah. me how, how does I Dan look? Bernstein look. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're so uh, welcome. I, I wish they could have had this guy three years ago, but Joe Harris. Yeah. I would say it's I would still take him just because he's a volume three point shooter and he'll he'll make him at a relatively high clip. I think right now that's the best name on there aside from young, athletic, and bad. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, okay, I'm done with the, uh, the Joe Harris thing. I would I I wanted him. I want I want the idea of him, but I feel like it would be like one of these old White Sox signings. Ken Griffey in, Jr. Yeah, yeah. Or Roberto Alomar, or Jimmy Alomar. Rollins. You don't remember that? Of course, of course. Jimmy Rollins was the guy Melky that asked Cabrera. It was it was Jimmy Rollins that that asked what the hell Drake Laroche was doing in there because they, they needed somebody from the, from the outside to be like, what's going on here? Wait, there's that more. Kid had an anger issue. Uh, Juan Toscano Wait, there's Anderson. There's more. <laughs> Juan Toscano oh, Anderson. Yeah, he can jump a little bit. He can really jump. He's athletic. Yeah. He's the one who dunked on JaVale McGee, and then JaVale McGee sent him a framed picture of it with his signature saying, nice dunk. Aw, that's <laughs> cute. Uh, Chimezi Metu? Yeah, forward. Spurs and Kings, I believe. Fine. Is Wenya and Gabriel on there or something? No, Frank Natilakina is. Nah. Ugh. Frank, ugh. <laughs> and here, this is the list of another next failed mid, like yep. top ten pick. The, Kevin so, Knox and and I Frank guess he was that high pick, wasn't he? Yeah, it was eighth overall. Well, Why do I know that off the I top of my head? 
So oh my lord. They also have players mentioned as potential buyout candidates we could see in the next week. Okay. There's two on Charlotte, three on Detroit, and two on Atlanta. The Charlotte names are Seth Curry. I'd love that. I don't think so. I think it, they've been winning a few games before the All-Star break. They were winning. And he's wearing his dad's, his dad's jersey. And his dad is the color guy for yeah, it's cool. next to, uh, what's his name, Eric Collins? That Eric right? Collins, yeah. That's, elect- that's an electric duo right there. Yeah, Charlotte also has ball. my guy, Davis Bertans. Yeah, I, another th- like the Joe Harris thing. Three years ago, three years ago would have been yep. great. On but, Detroit, the three names are the man we call Never Google, Evan Fournier. <laughs> no thanks. No, Shake Milton. Yeah, I like Shake Milton. He's all right, but he's a guard. And former Bull Troy Brown Jr. God, this is so depressing. This, I know. Wait, this is, wait. I'm, this is. This, <laughs> the fact that we're we're spending eight minutes going I, through potential buyout candidates to get them to the eighth seed is pretty bad. You're doing it, it again. You're you're doing it I'm again. I'm doing it again, but I'm it, this is justified. All right, two more. I, every and single you, time I start to doom spiral, I just need to look at my Andre Drummond shirt. Yes, make you feel better. Me. There you go. Uh, oh, Atlanta's balls, <laughs> Patty Mills. <laughs> Okay, I, I like Fatty Mills just because he, he he's 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 what Javon Carter is now, except a little more efficient. Or and Javon Carter is what he used to be, but Patty Mills is more efficient. Go on. And lastly, Wesley Matthews. Old, he old. Still shoot. I, he he always he always pissed me off whenever the Bulls played them. Though I feel like he never missed against the Bulls, especially when oh, he was you in had Milwaukee. A list. You had a list of guys like who Devin never Booker, missed against the Bulls. No, Devin not Booker, you... Will Barton. Will Barton was on there. Uh, Burks. Where is he Alec, now? Alec, Alec Burks, Burks was on that list. Where is Will Barton now? Because that that's that's a guy that uh, just a Bulls killer. Where where the he's hell is old he? Too. He's in Denver. Where, yeah, but where is he now? Is he in Taiwan or something? Where is he? I don't know. Oh no, he oh. retired. Retired. Really? Oh. Yeah, says former professional basketball player. He's only 33. I mean, he's old, but he's not. He's not. Yeah, he's old. Well, good for him. I hope he did it on his terms. Yeah. Yeah. But he killed the Bulls every single time. Every single so, time they played him. Did you watch the All-Star game at all? I watched it for about five minutes and turned it off. It was terrible. I, I enjoyed watching Tyrese Halliburton just shoot over everybody in the first quarter, and then after that, I was just so bored. It was so terrible. And they, but I don't. Mad. The thing is that the thing is that I don't blame the players. Why that? It's they're not entitled to do really anything. They 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 want to just chill. It, it it's the it they have a week off, a little over a week off to relax a little bit take their mind off of the game for a bit. So why, why the hell should they try? And if they try, they could be susceptible to injury. I, the, there has to be a better solution, which is why you are proposing one. I've got it. Now I'm just oh spitballing boy. here. So we need, you, you've oh got it. Oh, you, just, don't okay. just, just, I need your help. Doom with spiraling it. on Dan. No, 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 no. This is, I need you, right. your support on this one. Here's the idea, because I think it would be it would be a hell of a lot of fun. There's no all star game. We're not we're not playing basketball. But what we're doing. Is a talent show. Oh, a a full blown NBA, but but not just like seat of the pants. Like, like, I don't know if you guys at camp. Did you guys do request night at the end of camp? Yes. Yes. Where, where people are like, oh, like Larry Schwartz from Cabin I Intermediate so. 2. Can he come up and turn his eyelids inside out? Yeah. I can, I can actually do that. Let's do it real quick. Hold on. No, don't, don't, no, no, no. Don't, do not. Don't, no, don't, don't, don't. Do not. Do not. Inside out. Okay. Stop it. There we go. Don't do that. Ugh. You shouldn't have given me the idea. Well, it wasn't the idea. So what is what they're going to do is every team's got a guy who who can sing. 
maybe there's some guys, you know, there's some guys who can play musical instruments, or you ha- and you you do choreograph dance numbers. You could have guys come out and do comedy bits, and make a huge thing out of it. So, as- are you saying? Are you hold on? Question: Are you saying it's the best players in the league as if it were an All Star game, or is it just anybody from from the whatever league? you want? We can we can we can talk about all this. It, it doesn't have to be. It's just a week off, basically. They get a week off and they get a party somewhere. And okay. the center and everybody gets to go to and the centerpiece of the party is and you can do all your other stuff. You can do your skills competitions and all that. But yeah, the, but the key is gonna be that they're gonna guys are gonna really show off what they can do. Maybe somebody can play eruption on the guitar. Who but what we Victor don't know. Depot was on the mass singer or something like that. Okay, all right. Well, that's a like start. You can sing. People love this stuff, and then as part of it. Why not? Why don't you have a bank of phones raising money for NBA cares? You could have you could have a point system where fans can actually vote, and then money gets raised for charities of choice or NBA cares, and you get a players answering the phones like they're yeah. sitting there, and like yeah, Thanasis cool. Anadokounmpo gets to pick up a phone, and he's and, not an NBA player. That's just what <laughs> I'm gonna say. He's he, he's he's worse than Kevin Knox. That's why I, Kevin, that's Kevin Knox right is up. Kevin Knox that's is that's, bad, but he's not Thanasis. That that's no, why I I mean good for Thanasis for being his brother's little buddy on that team. I, I'm, I I'm glad he I'm glad he's a cheerleader and he occasionally gets in the game. But my lord, have you ever just seen a Thanasis on a Dakumpa low light compilation? Oh, of course, dude. I have. He doesn't know what the hell he's doing I ever. Know. He did hit and somebody hilarious. with a sham god, so we saw that. He, he actually, he, he actually did set up the sham god move, the reach across whip move. Well, I mean, it, I, I, he's obviously better at basketball than you know a ninety nine. If he showed up at your planet, yeah. If he showed up at your run at the gym down the hill, he would dominate. Oh my god, are you kidding me? He would dominate yeah. Patriot League basketball. Yes. Are you kidding? It's, 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 so like, wait, I'm not done with my idea yet. Not Kevin Knox, though. Okay, good. No, so wait, I'm not done with Kevin my Knox idea. So as it, it, we, they put together this talent show, but they have to practice it. It's not just seat of the pants stuff. It is. It, it's got to be you know, choreographed or really practiced, worked on. Guys have to do what they what they have to do, and so they can get it right and be representative. So as this is going on, and as you've got voters weighing in barkley kenny and shack are live commenting yeah on everything they see everything they see they are the play-by-play team the nba and tnt group they're the only commentators if you want guest commentators in there you could have actual singers dancers comedians sitting in with them but not actually performing they and you could add whatever component you want if you want them to be able to throw Nerf balls at them or throw rotten tomatoes oh at them. So you can, I'm open to all these ideas, but I want, I want a full blown like awards show level production. It can go off the rails a little bit. It can be silly. It can be like one of those Carol Burnett shows where nobody can keep a straight face. So if I, I'm just Corman. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if, some if, of his stuff is just lovely. It's lovely. Oh. Oh, his stuff's the best. When it, when he starts to lose it, people oh, think that yeah, it, people it, think it, David he, Spade. Just... Yeah, people. Everyone, everyone says, "Oh yeah, famously it was David Spade in in the Matt Foley Chris Farley sketch." Like, no, 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 no. There, there. Matt Foley a... is living in a van yes. down by the river, and okay. David Spade yeah. breaking is great in that, but it's nothing like when they started to lose it on in in some of the great Carol Burnett show highlights. So, but that's that's all I got for you. That that's okay. my plan. I was just gonna say for the slam dunk contest, why the hell was Jalen Brown in the final after that bullshit? That was horrible. It's that was terrible. Bad. It's always and I and but I feel Mac, bad for no, that. I will say for Bulls legend Mac McGlung, he can jump. He's he is great. He's really fun to watch in the dunk contest. And I mean, that's a white dude doing that. Like but it's, that's. It's, well, I, he's got a, that's why he's got a lot of respect around the league for it. Yeah, but it's, I would can, rather really see. Fly. I would rather I want, see. I want, I want a better judges panel. And I I would even see fan, some fans voting 
I, I, I don't know. Some some of these old dudes just don't know how to. They they need uh, you know glasses thicker than Mrs. Riley's. Then I mean, that's a very niche reference. But yeah, and not. only Mrs. Riley. Mrs. Riley. How many fingers? Let the record show is holding up three fingers. Your Honor, please. The best idea, professional dunkers. Forget NBA players. Do the slam dunk contest to actually determine the best dunker, who is very likely not an NBA player or a G League player. All these guys that do these oh, super like Jordan Kilgannon and Isaiah yeah, Rivera. Yeah, yeah. Like the guys yeah. that were on Dunk King or whatever. Yes. Remember that TV show? That's, yes. That stuff you was, loved that, that, that show. show. Yeah. You what were you, like 10? Not even older. I think it was like no. I was probably eleven or twelve. You loved. That I think show. I think that was on in like 2016, 2017. Uh, yeah, it, it, that was Kenny Smith and Shaq and Brent Barry. That mm -hmm. that's legit. And that there were th some of those dunks are just crazy. I I love watching stuff like that. There there's some guy that's trying to do a bounce dunk where he jumps, throws the ball, swings his arm around, catches it. And dunks it. Oh, like a Which swan had, dive kind of thing. Yeah, but he bounces the ball as he uh, in midair, so it comes back oh. up to him while he's still in the air. Like you, have, wow. you, his his head is fully above the rim. It's like he's on some Gerald Green type stuff. You want to hit the showdown? We can hit the showdown. That that that's fine. That I think is you've been fine. put in charge of it. I, I think you've been yeah. you've been deputized. Yeah, I have. So, on the OWC College Showdown, I present Jason with... Can't you fade that instead of cutting it so abruptly? Oh, thanks! The, okay. Oh, oh, all right. So, whenever... Here we go. The, what? The, here's here's my rant to the day. This, so, so, whenever... whenever If James isn't available, which happens once in a blue moon, and I have to produce it, the first time that happened, he's like, oh, Jason's got it. Yeah, J Jason's got it because I, I, I'm i too old. I can't I don't know how to work this stuff. So now you're being a little piece of crap and you're complaining that I, oh, you kid faded. You think that's my expertise? If I if that was my expertise, I would be a computer science major here or an electrical engineer here. <laughs> I am not smart enough for that. OK, I, I can ask one of my friends, oh, on StreamYard.com, how do I how do I fade out the music? I, first of all, they're probably okay. not going to know because they're going to be too busy doing their Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. Second of all, stop complaining about it. Just, just be grateful right. that I am young enough to know this stuff right now. I don't want to hear anything come out of your gross all little right. mouth. <laughs> Weird right. flex, but, but but okay, sir, this is an Arby's. That's that, no, misused. Go ahead. <sighs> Okay, Jason right. claims that he knows where all current NBA players attended college. And then he presents me with a, with a group of three vintage NBA players and see if I can remember where they went to college. So we'll start with Brooklyn forward Trendon Watford. LSU. Correct. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's what I was waiting for. Okay. I Indiana guard... Ben Shepard. Oh, I know the name and I don't know. I'm thinking of Reed Shepard, maybe the Kentucky guy that I really like that I kind of want the Bulls to draft. Uh, ben Shepard. Syracuse. Sounds so white. He went to the university where the Bulls held their preseason practices. Oh, he went to Belmont. Okay. He did. Oi. Oh, and lastly, Denver forward Hunter Tyson. Oh, nothing. Uh, let me Cal Berkeley, Clemson. All right, yeah, that that right. that was pretty brutal. I just got to beat one out of three. The shadows right now. The shadows right now are doing me right. It's the golden hour here, and my shirt is flourishing. Uh, I, I can't. I can't stop talking about it. Andre awesome. Drummond grabs his nuts. Yeah. A memoir. Uh, 
former Bulls and Rockets guard, only was with the Bulls for one season, Mitchell Wiggins. Damn it. I love Mitchell Wiggins. Great rebounding guard. You can get what you, there are two schools. So you, if you get one of them, he's the I'll give it to you. Father of Andrew Wiggins, right? I believe so. Mitchell Wiggins went to Kansas State. He went to both Florida State and Clemson. Double Clemson today. Ah, okay. Former Spurs guard and former Bulls head coach, Vinny Del Negro. NC State, come on. ACC. All right. School when I was in school. Yep. I don't know if I've done this guy before, but we're just going to go with it anyway. Former Sixers forward Clarence Weatherspoon. Southern Miss. I think I have done it before, right? Or no? I don't know, but I, that one I knew. Okay. All right. That yeah, one I just did knew. Go to Southern Miss. Went to Southern Miss. All right. All right. So I win this round of the OWC college. Congratulations. Congratulations, Hunter Tyson. Thank you. He's gonna I come at me. Imagine I go to another G League game. He's, he's probably on a two-way or something, and he just he, he sees me. He's like, oh, he's All right, he's so it's been a nice break from Bulls basketball, but... Uh, oh, it's been lovely. It's more been More into lovely. the breach. You love that word. That, that's uh, the second time. What? You, just, you described Harvey Corman as lovely, I believe. I love the word lovely. When you okay. sent me your picture of Groucho Marx made out of your medication... <laughs> I responded well, with lovely. It just so happened to look like that. It just I looked at it. Wait, I, 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 I remember think faces you did it on purpose. You remember uh, faces? Of course, in I things? remember faces and things. I think we learned about that in psychology, and there's a name for it. We weren't tested on it last week. That test for the majority of the class did not go so well. And I did how the Bulls are performing mid. So let's look. Let's look at the uh, what? What, what is this site? The psychology term. Oh, for, for finding for faces and things. Faces. I need to find this. Yeah. Yeah. Pareidolia. Yes. We did. We learned about that. P A R E I D O L I A. Pareidolia is the human nature of finding psychological phenomenon patterns. that causes people to see patterns in a random stimulus. This often leads to people assigning human characteristics to objects. Usually, this is simplified to people seeing faces in objects where there isn't one. Hmm. I didn't know there was per a term for that. Lenstore.co.uk. All right. I didn't so learn that. like it. Yeah. Wow. Surprise for how old you are. So let's like it, rate it, all Subscribe the things, and worship Andre Drummond while listening to it, please. Because he is the greatest.